Star Wars Jedi Survivor is finally here, and with more than 40 odd hours of lightsaber swinging to get through, you're going to need all the help you can get to make sure Cal and BD-1 make it to the end credits alive. The Empire, after all, waits for no Jedi, and one of the best tools at your disposal are the many perks Cal can pick up on his adventures across the cosmos. Essentially passive buffs to Cal's abilities, you acquire new perks by picking up these blue crystals that are scattered around the many planets you'll discover and each has its own boon and cost for equipping it. With that in mind, we've put together a list of the best perks to get your hands on as early as possible in Jedi Survivor. First up is Resilience, and this one you'll likely be carrying around for the majority of the game, not just in the early days. You can find the Resilience perk while you wander through the Jedi Temple in the Chamber of Duality. You can't really miss it, which is good because it's one of the best perks you can get. It only costs one slot, Cal starts the game with just three, so it's a good option for the perk slot poor among you, and it increases your block meter, which means you can stop more melee attacks and ranged projectiles from hitting you before your stance breaks. Good for stances that have low block stamina by default, like the dual wield. Next up is the Shatter perk, and this kind of works like a reverse resilience. It makes it easier for Cal to break an enemy's guard. It's slightly more expensive in the perk slot department, costing two, but it's more than worth it, provided, of course, you can get around the ranker a huge monster that'll mess you up if you aren't prepared for it and one of the game's many legendary beasts you can hunt down. It's found in the Sodden Grotto, a small cave system not far off from Rambler's Reach on Kobo, and easy to find if you follow the Find Missing Prospectors rumour. The mini boss fight on the other hand can be no joke, especially on higher difficulties, so be prepared to bounce off it a few times while you learn its patterns, but ultimately you should be able to get by it no problem. With Shatter equipped, enemies' guards will break a lot more, often making it a hell of a lot easier for Cal to brute force his way through the cast of droids, monsters, and stormtroopers you'll find on the way. And finally, we have Wisdom, a perk that should be top of the list for anyone looking to grind up the levels and unlock those tastier abilities Cal has hidden in his skill tree. It is an expensive perk, especially in the early game before you unlock new perk slots, costing three to equip, but it's more than worth it, especially if you're cutting back through a level to clear all the secrets you missed first time round. Essentially, it boosts the XP gains Cal gets from killing enemies, which you'll find a lot of when you're sweeping up after completing the story missions on a planet. There's an argument for putting this perk on when you're fighting some of the bigger enemies as well, since your XP boosts will be exponentially larger, but the downside is you'll probably have to lose some of your combat perks to fit it in, so don't worry about it too much if you can't afford the perk real estate for the harder fights. It's also an objectively easy perk to get your hands on, you can pick it up from Z's data disc decryption, so there's no excuse for not having it on hand as soon as you can. I'm also going to give a special mention to the precision perk, but it comes with the incredibly important fine print that this is mainly for those of you confident in your abilities to parry incoming attacks. Precision shortens the parry time Cal has for deflecting incoming attacks, but also significantly increases the amount of stamina damage enemies take when you manage to pull it off. Making it a pretty overpowered perk at lower difficulties, where the parry timing is fairly forgiving anyway, and nothing short of a liability if you're playing on the hardest difficulties because of how demanding parry timing is. That said, if you're used to Souls likes or you have the reflexes of a Jedi Knight, you might want to consider adding it to your perk rotation. And there's not really a more fun way to kill an enemy in Jedi Survivor than by parrying them into submission and cutting their head off. You can find it on Kobo at the Devastated Settlement by completing the optional Kobo Matter Puzzle. After force pulling a cube under a door to secure the passage being kept open, you can safely take the orb into the Kobo Tuna Beam, and then using BD-1's Kobo Matter Spray to connect the beam with the matter blocking the perk, burning it away, and allowing you to pick it up. And those are the best perks we had success with in the early days of Jedi Survivor. But there are a ton of perks to discover, each with their own strengths and weaknesses, so what's your favourite Cal Kestis build? Let us know down in the comments, and if you need help finding all the perks you could possibly want in Jedi Survivor, check out these videos here.